Paris with you? <gasps> Kitten! Hi, Mama! Hmm. We have a few minutes. Oh my gosh, look at them. <gasps> look at them this morning. Hi, Mama. <laughs> She says, are you going to put that blanket there? Because I will, I will get you if you do. Hi, Mama. Ready. Oh, my goodness. Look how adorable. Cute. We're going to be going live on the Weather Channel in a minute. I'm just going to try to. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Let me just fix this for a minute. Oh, gosh. Hi. Hey, <laughs> guys, get a Hi, Mama. Look, all your kittens left you to come to me. They've grown. Kittens. Let's see. I'm going to see if we have a post to share. <gasps> Good morning, kittens. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, Puffin. Good morning. Where are you going, Egret? Oh my goodness. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. Hello. Hello. She's very ferocious. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just gonna go to Facebook and 
share the post. Welcome to everyone who's tuning in. Welcome to everybody tuning in. We are live from Fort Langley, British Columbia with these adorable kittens. They are three weeks and two days old. Wait. Oh, they're so cute. They're very ferocious, too. Starling is uh, was a feral cat. What are you doing up there, Paloma? Look at Paloma hanging out. Oh. <laughs> she was feral and she had a foot injury, and so we brought her in to take care of her foot and discovered she was also pregnant. And so she had her last litter of kittens here, where they would be safe. And in the process, she has decided that humans aren't so bad after all. And so she is going to be adopted, and so are her kittens. Oh, is that your belly? Oh, no. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. Oh, gosh. Excuse us. Let me bring up. <laughs> so these are little rescue kittens. And they will all be spayed and neutered. And adopted out. You are so cute. Oh, look, this is Sparrow. She forgets to put her tongue away sometimes. Don't you? <laughs> so you can watch these guys live 24-7. At tinykittens.com. Look at that belly. That is a pudgy little belly. A pudgy little belly. <laughs> okay. 
You are so cute. <laughs> they're just getting to the age where they're starting to play and explore. <laughs> These are the twingers. The twingers, Puffin and Egret. They're twins, twin gingers. <laughs> They're the only two boys. Everyone else is a girl. <laughs> Where are you going, Maggles? Oh, so cute. We need a close-up of the wren. This is wren. <laughs> She's very cute. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, is mommy gonna go have a snack? <laughs> oh, so, so silly. Such silly kittens. <laughs> Magpie's trying to get mama out the window. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. What are you two doing? Let's see if we can do it. Line up. Let's do a line up. This is Paloma. This is Sparrow. And Wren, their sisters. And Magpie in the back is the their sister also. <laughs> Oh, so cute. <laughs> what are you looking at? Where are you going? Go get your brother. Go get him. These are some very healthy pudgy kittens. Look at the little belly. Look at the belly. Look at that belly flab. <laughs> we like pudgy kittens. We don't like pudgy adults. <laughs> Look at that belly. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Paloma is here. She went exploring. She's got places to be. Look at your stripes. Your stripes are really showing now that you're a big boy.
Mama Starling is doing great. She was having some uh, issues with her breathing when she first came in. We thought maybe she had a heart condition, but uh, her heart looked okay. And she seems to be doing really well. And once the kittens are weaned, we will have her checked out again thoroughly to rule out any sort of uh, asthma or something like that that's causing her respiration to be a little bit higher than we would like. But other than that, she's doing great. She's very sweet. She was quite fearful at first because she's a feral cat, which means she's had no contact with humans since she was born uh, until we brought her in here. And so they look at us as, as if we were just another predator because they don't know us. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest. Mommy with her baby. <laughs> there she is though. But she's so sweet, she just purrs non-stop now. You can probably hear her purring right now. <laughs> Look at that ferocious kitten. Hi, Puffin. There, getting to that adorable age. <laughs> they're a little wobbly, but they're super curious. They want to see the world. I'm going to give you your eye drops while you're here. Oh gosh, they're so cute. Look at those little faces. Look at those little faces. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Hi, you are so cute. So if you love kittens, the best way you can help them is by spaying and neutering. And if you want to have kittens around, you can become a foster parent at your local shelter. And you'll be saving lives. And you can spay and neuter your own cat. because only one in 12 kittens born ever finds a home. <laughs> Close up. Oh. 
Matt just jumped out the window back there. <laughs> Starling comes from a colony of more than 200 feral cats um, on a rural property. The neighbors have all been amazed that there are that many cats back there. Um, people always think that there are no feral cats in their neighborhood, but feral cats are really good at being invisible. So when we actually got in there and started um, helping the cats, we found more than 200 of them. We spayed and neutered uh, about 90% of them and uh, we adopted out 18 of the adults that became friendly and many of the kittens <laughs> magpie are you going to come back in hello you are so cute So we, we have a feeding station set up there and we feed and care for the cats every day. And so if, if one of them comes in, uh, shows up injured one day, we will bring them in and get them fixed up, which is what we were doing with Starling when we discovered she was pregnant. And so now she will not, she will not be returning there because she decided that pampered life with humans is for her. <laughs> we have a new project um, that's sort of an emergency project. There's a, another rural property that uh, is being developed and there are a number of old buildings on the property that are being bulldozed. And there are mama cats and babies inside. And so the property owner has agreed to let us come in and uh, relocate the moms and babies. And um, spay and neuter everyone else. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're so you're so funny. And so we'll be doing our first ever feral fix-a-thon um, on Saturday and Sunday. Sunday is National Feral Cat Day, so the timing works out perfectly. We are uh, going to be bringing in as many of the cats as we can. So we'll be broadcasting the whole the whole event live so that if anyone wants to learn how to do do something called trap neuter return. Uh, we'll be showing the whole process and then the next day we'll be showing all the spays and neuters to help raise awareness about feral cats and the importance of spaying and neutering. So uh, you can meet the cats if you're interested at tinykittens.com slash fixathon. We have almost 50 cataloged and we have already brought nine of them in. We had one very, very special little, little kitten named Nano, who was only 146 grams when we found him, and at five weeks old. It's about a third the size of these guys, and they're only three weeks old. So we are doing this fix-a-thon in his honor. Look at that belly. Oh my gosh, look at the belly. <laughs> These kittens, because they were born here, will never have to worry about fleas or ear mites or starvation or worms. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, you're gonna get your sister. Look at you. <laughs> Whoa. Part of the work we're trying to do is dispel myths about uh, feral cats. We had a lot of assumptions about ferals that were wrong when we first started working with them. And we learn new things every day. What are you doing? Oh, you're so ferocious. You're so ferocious. done a little redecorating now that they're big kittens. <laughs> Where are you going, Puffin? <laughs> they're a little escape artist back there. Oh, there he goes. You are so silly. Let's see if maybe we can get Mama to play with them. <laughs> this is her new favorite thing to do. Oh, now she's having a little snack. I should fix your blanket while Mama's out there. Starling, their mom has done really well becoming um, brave and friendly with the humans, but um, she, the one thing she doesn't like <laughs> is having her blanket changed. So I'm going to fix it while she's having a snack and she'll never know. <laughs> there, now no one has to get in trouble. <laughs> there we go, like it never happened. <laughs> How cute are these kids?
The, the twingers are pretty hard to tell apart. Um, uh, one is stripier than the other one, and one has a white left rear foot. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all we have to go on. Oh, where did he go? I was gonna, the other one has gone off exploring. Hi, Mama. So you can watch these guys live 24 seven at tinykittens.com. You can watch them grow up. We broadcast everything we do from birth to adoption to try to raise awareness and also um, free kitten therapy. Kitten therapy is the best kind of therapy you can get. <laughs> what are you girls looking at? There's your brother. I brought him back for you. Kittens reduce stress. They boost productivity at work. We have a lot of offices that put the kittens on in the in the office for obvious reasons. <laughs> we have a wonderful vet who does Q and A's and um, broadcast exams and try to teach about responsible pet ownership. Is that your belly? Does someone need to get your belly? <laughs> oh. So you can learn a lot more about what we do and see much more adorableness. We have right now three live feeds. <clears throat> we have these guys and then um, from our high risk colony where we're trying to stay ahead of the bulldozers, uh, we have the nine, we have nine well, now we have eight um, uh, we have Amelia and her two brothers. Amelia fell 20 feet out of a hayloft and thank goodness she landed on some insulation. But um, when we were on our first day at this new property, we were we were being shown where we could go and where we shouldn't go and um, we saw her and we actually thought that she would be coming in um, just so that we could humanely euthanize her because she she was not responding and um, you know we didn't want her to suffer and we heard meowing and we found her two brothers upstairs still in the hayloft and so we grabbed all three of them. Mom hadn't been around for a while, so we don't know what happened to Mama. Um, but we ended up, uh, all three of them are doing great. Um, it's amazing. She, she didn't uh, hurt herself when she fell. And they, have pretty, they had pretty bad eye infections, and they were just swarming with fleas. Um, so they were anemic and uh, dehydrated and malnourished and had upper respiratory infections, but um, all that stuff is fixable. And they're doing really well now, so you can see them. Um, they may have ringworm, <laughs> it's a whole big thing. But they'll be up for adoption as soon as they're healthy. And then we have another feral mama named Zeta, who uh, managed to keep five of her kittens alive, which is amazing. And um, they're all little tabbies. And she even, she, one of her kittens named Nano Wolverine, he um, had a massive um, diaphragmatic hernia, which means basically his stomach and his intestines were 
in his pericardium, which is the sac around his heart. And so when he ate food, um, it put pressure on his lungs so that he couldn't breathe. So he was teeny, 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 tiny. Because he couldn't eat as much as his brothers. But uh, he had a great week here. And we did everything we could for him. Um, but he didn't make it. He's, a, he's now our poster kitten for why we spay and neuter. Um, his four brothers are doing really well. His mom is doing really well. So um, they're just being socialized. And... Oops. He hit it. So, uh, it's a rough life out there for, for kittens born in the wild, but luckily we can do something about it. And uh, it's pretty easy to help. All, all they need um, is, is spaying and neutering, and if you can set up a TNR group or join a TNR group, you can feed them, take care of them. They're community cats. They belong to the whole community since they're the result of people not spaying and neutering. And you can prevent tons of suffering just by spaying and neutering. And they're pretty remarkable cats too, as you can see. <laughs> Look how cute she is. You know what's what's super adorable about Starling is that we never saw, we, we've known her, uh, well we, we saw her, she showed up when she was about four months old um, and then she would come back like every now and then to the feeding station but not super reliably. So we know she was born there but um, we never saw her play until she came here and it took her a while even when she came here to play but now she's so playful. Um, she just doesn't have that fear of, you know, she always had to be on the lookout out there for predators and other cats and she doesn't have that anymore. So she's, she's so cute. She just purrs all the time and she's so playful. She loves having the kittens to play with. <laughs> so cute. Are you all going to go back there? What's happening out there? Oh, mama's going to get you. Get you. <laughs> She's so gentle with them. She she gets so wound up and so excited to play with them, but she's so gentle. It's really adorable. It's very sweet. So we're super thrilled that she decided that life with humans would be okay because um, even though we take really good care of the cats after we return them. Um, we still can't protect them 100%. And we really get attached to them, so it's great that she's going to get to be adopted into a home. <laughs> Look how cute she is. She's never had a chance to be a kitten herself. So uh, once these guys are raised and she's spayed, and adopted, she, she's gonna get to live her kitten life that she never had to have. <laughs> she's so wound up. <laughs> she is too cute. Too cute. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what's going on out there. <laughs> She's 
trash and her kittens. <laughs> oh, she's such a good mom. Poor Starling had a super uh, difficult labor and delivery. Oh, Magpie, you're so cute. Oh, get her. Um, <clears throat> she uh, had a really hard time with uh, the first kitten and was just exhausted. And she was so huge that she wasn't able to reach when the kittens were coming out to get them breathing and get their noses clear and everything. So um, I was very happy that I was there and that she let me help, help get the kittens started. Because otherwise most of these kittens would not have survived birth. Too cute. They're too cute for that. Look at that. This is Wren. Wren, it took me quite some time to get going after she was born because she was, uh, she had inhaled some fluid and was not breathing. And, uh, took a little, took a little while, but finally got her going. And look at her now. She's perfect. She's perfect. <coughs> What are you looking at, huh? What are you looking at? Come get it. It always makes us so happy seeing the seeing the ones that were so um, fearful and vigilant in the wild um, come around. So there, she's just been back there purring the whole time, and she feels safe enough to play. It's very special. It's very special. <laughs> Where's everybody going? And it has frozen, frozen in place. Look at that little tail. So you can tell Puffin is stripier. This is his brother Egret. These are the only two boys, the twingers, twin gingers. But uh, Puffin's stripier, and Egret has more white on one of his feet. But other than that, they're pretty identical. <coughs> pretty scampy. And here's Paloma. Oh, there's everybody else. <laughs> oh, you are so cute. So cute. So they're a little over three weeks old now. And we will spay and neuter once they reach 2.2 pounds. Uh, and are older than eight weeks old. So whenever that happens. And then mommy will be spayed. No more kittens. Oh, get it. <laughs> Jeez, it's purring away back there. So sweet. What are you doing? <laughs> you are so cute. I have just started climbing <laughs> like <laughs> into 
through the camera boxes and stuff. They grow up so fast. Oh no! Don't fall! Still missing Sparrow. So big thanks to Crazimals and the Weather Channel for streaming us live. You guys are awesome. I think that it looks like the uh, video has, the live stream may have ended. The Facebook. Or it could just be me. But, um, oh, yep, there it is. It's pretty cool of them to let us, to stream us like this. Um, not only because kittens are adorable, but because we can talk about spaying and neutering and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, oh, they're so cute. We're going to be live again at um, 12.30 Pacific time, I think. <clears throat> and so you can tune in again. In the meantime, you can watch uh, live 24-7 at tinykittens.com. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you again to Crazimals and the Weather Channel. You guys are awesome. brawl happening there. Adorable.
So, I guess I will go and... Oh, look at this belly. First I have to get this belly. Oh, look at that belly. Your little belly polka dots are so cute. Oh, look at that belly polka dot. What's this? Oh, get it. <laughs> oh, so cute. cute oh my gosh you are ridiculous ridiculous now I have to put your little area back together <laughs> mama starling purred the whole time I should get you more breakfast So adorable. Oops. I think I have to make the wall a bit higher now because they can climb. They're such little climbers.
leaving. They're leaving. Kittens. What? <laughs> it's mommy's having some sink time. <laughs> They're pretty cute. Pretty cute. Whoa. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go get ready to see the others. It's time for morning meds and breakfast. Are you going to use the litter box? Oh my goodness, we might have our first litter box. Magpies using the litter box, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I didn't even have to tell her what to do, she just did it. Okay, well, no, she just, she dug and she squatted and she had a little moment of woe and now she's changed her mind. Here, if you need to do it, do it in here. That's impressive. What a clever girl. Oops, don't tip over. Christine, if you need to go. She changed her mind. That was good prep, though. Good prep. What are you doing? I'm thinking about what to do next. Did you forget your tongue? Did you forget about your tongue? <laughs> oh no, what about your tongue? Paloma and Egret right now are hugging. They're all gonna make a sleeping pile in about two minutes. You 
exhausted. Uh, exhausted. <laughs> All right, so I'll be back in here in two hours. Take care of the other guys. I'll see you over there on those cams.